What's up guys, long overdue for a new exercise video. I was supposed to have one out last month, did not do that. I'm gonna show you guys a few different exercises. Today I'm actually on a mini vacation, so I'm kind of doing this at a local park here. Uh, brought my little uh, pull-up handles. I will link these down below. You're gonna see about three exercises using these things. I know I kind of plug them a lot, I just use them a lot, they're really handy. These things are only like $17 or so. I'll link these down below, but you're gonna see these featured as well as a couple other ones. So what's good about this, is these are all easy things to do with a stock Total Gym or Sony Men's Trainer and maybe a one little cheap minor attachment. All right, this one just detached the middle pulley and this one's gonna be more kind of like a burpee basically. It's a compound movement. You can do this a variety of different ways, kind of break this part in pieces if you want to, but I'm gonna come down. You either could step back or jump back, push up, one foot's gonna go in the bottom of the base, the other foot's bottom of the base, come up, kind of squat and press. So it looks like that. You could even do this. Basically a squat to press. That's the main exercise I like. It's a great interval tool. Otherwise I can do that and jump back into a push-up, kind of like a mini burpee. This also works really well if you have resistance bands and or some external weight on it as well. All right, this one might be my favorite on the list. Do not let the incline setting deceive you. This is an abdominal exercise. Um, honestly, surprised it's one I didn't really mess around with earlier. I think I've done it before, had a high incline setting, but you really need to get the benefit out of this doing it at a low setting. So basically all you do, have the handles, just basic stock handles. This might be easier or harder for some people to kind of get your feet in there. Slip them right in just like that. Lay down on your back. And all we're gonna do is just a leg raise, leg lift. Okay. Again, very tough. Looks pretty easy. I'm gonna do a few reps first. You can do alternating. You can go knees in if you scoot a little bit further down the glide board, just so you can extend your knees out a little bit more. All right, this next one's gonna be a hamstring curl, and I've showed a variety of hamstring curls, a number of ways to do this with either ankle attachments or even using um, one of the pull-up bar wing dip, wing dip attachments, you can do it here as well, in more of a closed chain exercise. This one, you can do it with the handles, it's just your feet kind of get stuck, it's a little more uncomfortable. With these extenders, this works out really good and really easy. What I like about this is it's just a little bit more simple and quick way to kind of set up and do hamstrings, especially if you got this already set up. Uh, I can do it really easy, this doesn't take a whole lot of effort. I certainly can kind of fine tune my positioning so I get more extension in my knees. But what I like about it again is it doesn't take a whole lot of effort kind of setting up and getting off and I can kind of chain these exercises together. Um, I can also lean back a little bit. Granted, this is pretty at a, this is at a lower incline. But if I lean back here, same thing. I can do a really nice, this actually feels better, really great hamstring curl with these attachments. All right, this next one, you may or may not count as a new exercise, but definitely a new position. Uh, maximizing at the very least these handles or uh, some sort of extension from like either some extra chains or some sort of length to the uh, handle to your grip. And basically what I'm doing is just an incline press. I'm gonna show you a couple things. First, if you're gonna use these, I have to kind of hold it with my thumb in the middle, right through the center, and then I'm kind of grasping the center. These go right through my palms and my hands. A little minor discomfort here, but really not a big deal. Now, I certainly could sit here and do a, a straight incline press chest press, but notice that line of action from here to the uh, pulley down there. It's not as steep as I would like it. So this feels even better going up on my knees, but if you didn't have these extenders or these grips on, you really couldn't pull this off because this thing would top out at the top. You'd also feel uneasy. I also think the extension and length makes a difference in how it kind of feels in your chest. So I get in this position. I kind of like to loop and anchor my toes in the back of the glide board. I'm up nice and tall, and again, even from the start position, I feel more tension and more of a stretch coming through my chest. But just a basic incline press that feels really good.
All right, this next one is something I used to do in the gym a lot where I'd usually be kneeling or maybe standing, having a crossover cable with a cross grip, doing a tricep press down with a cross grip this way, kind of similar to like a row press down. I think it's superior because you have kind of cross action, putting more stress in the triceps. Uh, you could use these extensions, this works out really good. Otherwise, just use the regular stock handles, put them in kind of like a neutral position. You're gonna cross the hands. I find my right hand going on top makes a big difference. Could be that one shoulder's higher, I don't know. But reading, I don't know if it's right-handed or not. I have my right hand on top. And then, again, you can go kneeling, elbows tucked in at the side, holding a neutral grip, and then just pressing down this way. Now, this can be hard for some people if it's hard to get in this position. You certainly can kind of kneel this way and go from here. It makes a big difference. Otherwise, if you want more extension length, you can kind of grab these extension cables, hold that neutral grip, same thing. And then this would allow you to actually get more distance. Also a little bit easier to kind of sit on the glide board as well. And as just a reminder guys, if you guys like this content and want to see more, please consider liking, subscribing. Uh, check out SonnyBenzTrainer.com where you can find my workout poster uh, as well. If you guys are interested in doing some personal one-on-one -on -one coaching, uh, you can find information there as well.